Education does not merely mean studying math and English or going to school. It means all around development and making the most of your abilities. In Jamaica, we face a long winding road to reach the summit. We're about to discuss the problems that students face in their quest for an education. To do this are a few students from Glenmuir High School, along with our guests, Mr. Vernon Somerville, President of the PTA, Mrs. Iwanita Campbell, Guidance Counselor, and Mr. Ricardo Bryan, Deputy Head Boy at the school. Welcome to Rapin. Could you tell me what are some of the national problems that students face? Yes, we um, could first look on a question of the rapid turnover of qualified staff, especially in the sensitive areas um, for the general development of the society. Subjects like chemistry, physics, mm -hmm. and the technical drawing, technical areas into this period of development that I think we need to address. And these are some of the problems at present that really affect the development of education and especially the student. We can also look on the question of cost because I think this is a factor that is also detrimental to address the needs of the children in question of books, uniform, the distance some of them live and to get to school and uh, uh, the question of even lunch at this point in time you know and some of the parents cannot find the money to so substantiate this factor based on the minimum wage at this time who has the power to smooth the creases that rests heavily on the government um, they have the power in that they are responsible for the, um, the administration mm -hmm. of all these um, within the education system. They can um, help in lowering the cost of education in Jamaica, as we all know it is really high. They can help in assisting in transportation. Um, Mr. Somerville said that some of the problems, or you both suggested that some of the problems could be suited out by the government. Mr. Somerville, I'd like to ask you what part can the private sector play in this can there be more scholarships more like bursaries to help the students the adopt the school program is one of the ways in which the private sector is trying to assist um, the educational system we are very near to one of the alumina plants in Jamalco and we are Glenmuir no the amount of assistance that that company has given to the school as far as the physical plant is concerned and i feel that the private sector to a certain extent is assisting in the educational system don't you think that teenagers on a whole are under too much pressure when it comes to education for example the parents are pressured to pay so much money for CXCs, the students themselves are pressured by the amount of money their parents pay and be not being sure of whether they'll pass or not, or whether they pass when they go into the working world, they cannot find a suitable job to work. Do you think that they are pressured? I think Jamaica, that's what I'm dealing with, is in a pressure cooker. And all the students with their parents and the system seem to be in there. Although there are pressures, there are those who will use the pressure as a stepping stone to higher heights. And if we, if you as students and we as teachers just sit back and think on the pressures, we will never move on. All these pressures do militate against education, but the student who really wants to be educated still can be educated. What message would you send to parents who like to pressure their children into pursuing subject areas that they really cannot manage? We have a society that relegates low performers to subspecies when really the child has not failed, but a system that has failed to meet the child's need and a society that supports that type of system. 
parents are misguided and are misguiding their children and teachers maybe from over enthusiasm tend to join the parents in pushing students so we have all these forces against the system and the children so in the end education suffers well i don't think that parents should dictate to students what course of study they should choose they should just instill in them that their best is always good enough whatever um the area of study that they um, wish to go into they mentioned something about pressures being placed on students well i think pressure needs to be placed on students because the working world is very competitive and if you want to succeed then you'll have to work hard because there are persons out there who are doing so and if you fall short of the mark then your um, effort will not be good enough don't you believe that students are becoming disillusioned because those who are highly educated are not really the best paid and especially by the done image that is being portrayed in our society today by our so-called drug dons and students see this as an easy way of getting quick money what do you think students see the the done image in in their communities and they see where the dons have achieved a certain amount of things and they, they see too where an educated person, a person who, um, person who has been to university, has not achieved as much as that done. I mean, that person, that student becomes sometimes discouraged by what he's doing at school, and which is a problem now because he, uh, it can make that child stop being interested in his schoolwork and wanting to go the way the dons have gone. And um, to they can be yes they become disillusioned because it's a fact that those who are highly educated are not always i would not say are not they are not always the most um the well paid in in um in the business places but education at all thing is for self-development do you believe that sports can be a hindrance to education it will not affect or it should not affect the um your your development learning process outside of formal education within the schools but we have seen where it has affected students um it, it has cramped their learning style it, it has caused them to be become uninterested in their educate um their school work i like to say in a system that's broken down whereas the teachers don't often come to class and they sometimes quit their jobs because they're not getting enough financial support as being for being a teacher the sports does enhance the system whereas it teaches you skills that are very important to your life in general such as team spirit and um, going for the gold being a winner right. education here for me is not a degree or some subjects it's a rounded person who is fit to live with and fit to live our topic this week has been the problems that students face in their quest for an education. We have had some very good advice today. Know yourself well and be very confident in your ability to achieve. I'd like to thank our guests for being with us today and Glenmuir High School for being our hosts on Rappin this week. Until next week, goodbye from Rappin. <laughs>